Hey, yo, what up? As you can see, this is Goddess Divine, and you have reached the right person, but definitely at the wrong time. So, if you clicked on this video, I do not believe in coincidence. I believe in miracles. So, if you clicked on this video, you have a gem, a masterpiece in the making. So please go ahead and push that like and subscribe button and do not forget to push that notification bell. Like I said, you landed on this video for a reason and the reason is to continue to enjoy my free videos. Why not? It's free. Anyways, I have been obsessed with, y'all can see my cat in the background, look at her, look at her. Can y'all see her? She always got to be the queen of the show. Look at this is why y'all don't get plants because did she lick inside of it? Kitty, you don't even know you have a fan club right now. Kitty. Her name is Plasma. Plasma. Anyways, forget you, Kitty. I have this obsession where I always had, I've always had, I mean, teas and plants and stuff like that. And I said, why not buy me the actual plant? Because I'm always buying different kind of teas, um, raspberry leaf tea, um, rose tea. I buy um, hibiscus tea, green tea, all kind of different teas. So I'm like... I have to stop because last month I spent literally over a hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars on teas, and I know you guys are like that's crazy, but health is wealth. So, on um, this plant right here is is a hibiscus. I guess it's a tree. I don't know if y'all can see that bark right there. It's like intertwined or whatever. Oh, you can look at my nails if you want. Yes, I gotta get them done, but I'm gonna make these last forever. Anyway. Um, my daughter can tell you a little bit more about the other teas that I had. What what are the other ones? Sweet rub herb caffeine free. Infusion. We can't hear you, baby. Sweet rub herb caffeine free infusion. Rub herb root tea. Black walnut leaf tea. Burdock root tea. Uh, herbal tea and green tea. Mm -hmm. So those are just some of them, and as. You, you probably never really heard too many of some of them. I don't know. It's other ones that I don't know where they all at. But so those are more of the expensive ones. Um, some of them are not. But anyway, so I decided, you know what? I get rose tea. I get hibiscus tea. I get all kind of different teas. So why not have my own rose garden or hibiscus garden? And this is a beautiful, beautiful selection I'm learning how to groom it, how to care for it. From what I, like not read, but heard on the YouTube, these are usually down in Hawaii. Um, they are in very humid but moist climates where it's like rainy. I don't know. So um, when I first got it, I just came home and I just wanted it because it was pretty. So then I just left it in... Literally, I know y'all gonna be like, what? In my kitchen. And I didn't do anything to it. And it started turning like this color. But I read that even though it's that color, it's like a crybaby. I have a peace lily upstairs and she is a plant. And she is completely like a baby. Isn't she, she Beyonce? Mm -hmm. Like if we don't water her or we don't talk to her... If she doesn't have some sun, she will literally droop all the way over like a baby. Like she's throwing a hissy fit. And um, I be thinking she did sometimes. But only thing you got to do, I mean, literally her, her whole branches, don't they, Beyonce, be like on the floor, yep. drooping down. And I'm like, dang, what the heck happened? And then we'll pour some water on her and next to next, probably like what, three, five, five minutes. She sprouted all right back up. And she probably even sprouted sprout a flower. But she used to sprout a lot of flowers, didn't she, Beyonce? Yeah. But then we just, like, got so busy and and we forgot. But we, I think we can bring her back to life. You think so, Beyonce? Mm -hmm. 
Beyonce really keeps her because I was about to just I know y'all gonna beat my ass. I just be wanna like get rid of her because I'm just like I'm the only spoiled brat in this house. Look at a cat. I'm the only spoiled brat in this house. Look at her. I don't know if y'all can see her. Beyonce. I bust I was about to say Beyonce. Kitty. Kitty. Anyways, um, I, I'm the only sport right in this house. And I'm like, oh, no, you're not taking my shot. I'm just, I'm going to watch this cat. Because that's another thing. When I get plants, I forget to see if it's poisonous to the cat. Remember, our other cat, I think she got a hold of a leaf and stuff. And she just threw up and that was it. But um, our guinea pigs got a hold of it, too. <sighs> okay. And it was not a good thing. But Beyonce said, don't say nothing about it. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to show my new... I don't know. What is this? Is this a tree or a plant, Beyonce? I think it's more... I think it's just a tree. You think so? Yeah, because I've had experience with planting trees. So mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Tree? Beyonce is a tree specialist, guys. Um. She is a professional because she, at her school, they she can talk about them all. At my school, it was basically like a fun field trip. It was a fundraiser of trees because we used so many of them making toilet paper and papers and stuff. Mm. So we got to plant trees and the whole school bought seeds and they already had started planting them. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after, we got to start planting them outside. So we had big groups, but we all got to have our own trees. Mm. And we got to plant them ourselves without any help. We just knew what to do. Yeah. And I, and on the other hand, in the front of the school, I got to plant a bush. Because mm -hmm. I had found this really nice flower seed. Mm -hmm. And my teacher told me it was like a rose bush. Oh, wow. So when we planted it, it finally grew and it started sprouting little roses at the front of the gate. And it was really pretty. So, oh. yeah. This looks like a tree to me. You think so? Okay. Because Beyonce... She is a professional, and she knows what she's doing because we drove past the school, and the the tree is still out there. And it's it, what happened, Beyonce? It's really big now. Mm hmm. How many years ago was that? They probably gonna ask. Um, two. Two years. You th yeah. I think it's longer than that. Mm -hmm. Since you've been in element, like yeah. went to that school. Yeah. Four. Oh no, three years. Yeah, three. Three. Was it in the beginning of the year or the end? So in the middle. So it might be for you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause school years are different than regular years, you know. Yeah. Look at can y'all see how the cat is just showing off? Yeah. It's just gonna be one of them cat. Oh shit! Look, look, uh -oh. Beyonce and the cat get in a fight. Let's see. Let's see. Look at it. Oh. oh. I wonder what, what did that mean when they do that? This is a trap. You don't touch the stomach. No, 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 no. Don't do it. I'm going to give you a mystery. Like, you see it? Sudden death. Like, she bites you. Did she bite you? <laughs> yeah. She's just being a baby for no reason. Yeah. She biting you? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. Sudden death. She just bites you. Kitty, stop. And she's purring while doing it. Oh, she, I think she might be playing with you. You think so? Sometimes. Yeah. And then she just starts biting. Okay. Anyways, guys, we're going to let you go because Kitty Cat has stole the show. Even when Beyonce was trying to talk. So these are the roses. They... they I could tell this one's about to bloom. I don't know. Bud or whatever. And then, like I said, that one and that one. It's a couple of them. And some of them, they're very fragile. So this one right here had one and it fell off. So it just fell off. Anyways, we'll let you guys go. But look at the cat. Look at her. She thinks she all that. Look at her. She crazy. Anyways, so these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the ones that fall off, I guess, can I, can I do that, Beyonce, make it into tea? I guess. Yeah. I think if you, if they're full grown, because they just... They are, when they blow like that. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm.
Like if like this one, this fell off. Can you get it from that one? Get those two so I can show the audience. No. Okay. I don't think you can do the green one, but the other one probably. Okay, this one fell off. And it's still moist. It's not hard or anything. It's just, yeah. Can you see it? And then this just, just fell off. I mean, I was like turning the plant and then boom. But you can see it was like a, oh, we could plant that outside. We probably could plant this outside because at first I was going, like you see the guys that, you see that little, that little thing in the middle. Maybe I could take that and plant it outside and have a bush. Because I was going to like let it go outside, but I'm like, I got cats in this, year. I mean, this neighborhood and I got like crazy people. Like I got a lot of cool stuff outside guys i like to decorate outside but somebody had um knocked my owl down what else they i had broke i had a bird bath beautiful bird bath they broke it they broke it shattered it um they tried to mess with the seahole so they'll just pick chip off the paint time wow time. i had like this huge cement um, seahorse. seahorse is like three of them all together and someone tried to pick it up and it's so freaking heavy I know it's like it's heavy as I don't know what you need two people, to look two people. we ain't lying because we went and got it and like the man was like you better be glad I was here to help you because I couldn't I wouldn't have been able to pick it up myself and someone tried to pick up the seahorse in my garden in the front of my house and broke what you said the fight the face off? No, they just like chipped the paint off of it. Like, you see? Good, like their heads are like all chipped off the paint. <sighs> see what I'm saying? And then they mess with um the pinwheels, the pinwheels. I mean flowers. Like what else? What else? Like um I have a sign because it's some oh, like retarded dogs. Lives. Huh? And, our lights. and our lights. I paid so much money because, like, they had these lights where, like, at nighttime it looks like little stars and moons and stuff. And then I got one that, like, turned different colors. And I got another one that I like steel or whatever. I don't know. But they're almost gone. Almost gone. Then I had put some, um, some flowers outside. Some of them fake, some of them real. And somebody keep knocking over the fake ones. And like the, what's it, Amazon person. You can probably see my Amazon packages in the background. He comes here like clockwork. But it's a new dude. Maybe that's that dude. Maybe that's that dude who I seen here. They're like, dude, he stuck his tongue out at me. And he's the one who touched the plants. He wanted to see if they was real because nobody ain't like planted no flowers and i know it's early but i'm like trying to manifest spring and stuff and he like pulled the flop my flowers <sighs> this one and i got these dope unwelcome signs where like it was my like um this my neighbor and i know she probably watching i won't get food she was she tried to find out where i got my stuff at, and i used to be that kind of corny girl like but i was trying to be nice you know what i'm saying because a lot of people don't have a good sense of fashion around me so they asked me oh you got that what you got yeah and i will usually tell everybody but this one neighbor her mom wanted my sign so she went and took a picture of my sign me and her ain't even friends on facebook it's a big like you know how everybody have like home and welcome you know i put unwelcome and i got a map that said go away and um they keep on that she like the girl was like can i my mom wants to know where i was like i don't know where i got it from i'm still not saying where the i got it from so i had that sign like on my door and somebody it, next thing i know it's in the middle of the street in the middle of the street somebody could have ran it over <sighs> this is like uh i i don't know I know I ain't gonna say nothing, but anyways, uh, this is beautiful green plant. Let me get off of here. Oh, it looked like this one just opened. <gasps> Beyonce, this one just opened. Yeah, I told tell me about that one story when you went upstairs and then you came back downstairs and then. Oh, 
Oh yeah, so during school I came down here to get some water, and but before that the whole thing was closed and it was green. Mm -hmm. Then when I came back down here, the whole thing, were, those two flowers were fully bloomed now. Mm -hmm. They bloomed fast. Really fast. Like what did you do, like put water on it, tar yeah, to it or what? Yeah, I just put water on it and I let it get some sunlight and some fresh air, then boom, flowers keep popping out. Mm. So, anyways, if you like our little stories that we had on here, that was my daughter in the background. Her name is Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. And my cat over there, Plasma. She's just laying out, chilling, you know, chilling like a villain. Look, she wants you to do it again, Beyonce. Uh-oh. Anyway. So, um, if you liked our video, like, comment, share, um, yeah, and don't forget to push that notification button, and have a beautiful day, and if anyone have not told you today, we love you, you know what I'm saying, stay positive, stay fresh, I'm gonna make another video, you know what, I'm gonna make a video right here, okay, I know y'all gonna be like, dang, can I see some more scenery, but it's this, this is a beautiful flip um plant okay a lot of good stuff has been coming on and happening in my life guys oh my goodness let me tell you something okay for many many years um i've been dealing with a person that really just disliked me and like disliked everything about me and that person was very close to me it was an actual family member and this person had ruined my life, ruined everything about me. And I'm just now figuring out like how deep it really was. I have had multiple, multiple restraining orders against this person. And it took me a long time to actually do it or start doing it and then continue on because this person is family and this person knows that I care for them, that I love them with all my heart. But they play on that and they were doing a lot of stuff that she would make it seem like it was normal. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I figured it out. It was not normal. So I got a lot of restraining orders against her. And for many years I was telling, I, I never told my story because I wanted to keep her reputation alive, even though she was harming me and my sibling. And um, in multiple ways, but I just didn't say anything. He, that person, my my sibling, did not say anything. Years, years later, the little 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 um. Now, what she this person would do is basically um do things to us, and wouldn't. Would she they, that this person would actually do really mean things to us, but then in the public eye and if around other people, sh this person would act magnificent. You so therefore, if I told our story, no one would believe us. So years later, now everybody's finding out about it. The court is finding out about it. Someone just pressed charges. Well, not they didn't press charges, but. This person who was doing a lot of bad stuff to me is doing a lot of bad stuff to other people. And this person, like the other person was trying to help this person. And that person that was hurting us started doing the same thing that they were doing to us, to that person. So long story short, a lot of people are starting to see who this person really is. And now I'm not afraid to tell my story because I actually have other people that understands what I'm talking about. Because if before I wouldn't have been able to express my story to anyone, because if you would look at this person, you would be like, yeah, right. That would never happen. You know, that person is just this wow, you know, prominent person, you know, but it's like falling apart. And even though this person has ruined a lot of people's life and um, including mine, but I, as of year, probably like seven years ago, I broke the, I'm breaking the cycle. So my children have, won't have to endure 
any of the stuff that I went through. Um, I'm still trying to, I feel sorry for that person, but I am quickly awakened after I start feeling sorry for this person that this person needs to be exposed because even though I will say I love you, da, 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 this person, I hate you, I can't stand you, da, 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 and lies and lies and lies. So I'm happy that this person is actually getting exposed. I'm not, I don't want to like, um, I don't want to like mess up that person's reputation, but I think it's refreshing to know that someone else knows because I wanted to tell, and I kind of hinted, hinted around about telling about our story to many people. But like I said, once I will say one bad thing about her, this person, they would, um, say, no, that could never be her. You know what I'm saying? So we would, or I would curl in a ball and just be like, I'm not saying anything. So long story short, what's in the dark must come to the light. And even though this be, should be a good day for me, like I'm like, should be rejoicing. I'm still sad because this person was somebody that I looked up to and I still don't want their name to go down in history as a bad person because once upon a time not many times but most not many times um or not the majority of the time but that person can have a really good heart and I know maybe this person was hurt when they were younger but that doesn't mean that they get to get a pass to hurt other people but um I'm very conflicted I don't know if I should write a book about my story like a lot of people have came to me and told me even not even know stories you know the stories of my love life the stories of everything they were like you should write a book but here it is I don't want to get sued number one number two I don't want everybody in my life <laughs> you know but I want to be able to encourage other people. If I went through it and I'm still here, you can do it too. And then also to bring awareness to this because the relationship that I have between me and that person is a relationship that people would never expect that that person would do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like they would like, oh no. You know, that person is like the person that if you say anything about that person, you know, you'll be like stoned. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't talk about that person. But I think people need to be more aware and be able to be more comfortable about expressing their feelings and what happened to their self um, with certain situations and, and certain relationships and stuff like that and be able to be open because it may be someone like how I was was like oh they, they would never believe me that this happened you know what I'm saying so uh, I don't know if that makes sense or not but it is what it is anyways darlings I'm going to let you go um, like, comment, subscribe, and take care, and be beautiful. Bye-bye. Smooches. <laughs> Bye-bye.